Let's create tunnels in After Effects. In this video, we're going to explore the many incredible possibilities of creating looping motion graphics. So whether you want to create a cool scene or repeat a title slash graphic, let's get started. But first, I just need to mention that our Cyber Monday sale is now live and our templates are currently undergoing the largest savings at the moment. So if you want to save time while still producing great work, check out the links below. All right, here in After Effects, for the first graphic, we're going to use lines to create a simple grid-based tunnel. And this will be a great basic run through on how tunnels work. To get started, select a rectangle tool and double click it. Be sure to turn off the fill and set the stroke to around five. And when you're ready to go, go into the shape layer and add a repeater. Open the repeater and set the number of copies to a high number like 100. Drop down the transform repeater and follow up by setting the X position to zero and bring down the scale to around 75%. To animate the tunnel that we currently have, Alt click the stopwatch for offset and type time asterisk negative 0.5. Now we have this very basic tunnel animation. This will also work for any shape or design, not just a rectangle. Moving forward to complete our grid tunnel, turn on title saves and select the pen tool. From the absolute center of your composition, add a point. And if you miss a thousand times like me, well, hit that forgiveness button on your keyboard. But when you shoot straight, go to the corner of your composition and click another point. You should have this straight line, ugly. So go into the stroke inside the shape layer and open taper. Change the units to pixels and set the start length to 500, nice. Now we can add that repeater, set the number of copies to 12 or any number you want, go to that X position and set it to zero, and lastly, adjust the rotation so your lines circle around like this. My rotation is at 30 degrees. This is looking good. However, I want to cut off the tunnel. So we can create a rectangle the same color as our background and make sure that the stroke is the same width or even larger than our grid. Then just create a rectangle to close up the tunnel. This looks really cool, but I won't leave you with a basic design. Let's add some creative effects that are fantastic for tunnels. So we can create an adjustment layer and add the glow effect. We'll set the threshold to 100%, the glow radius to 40, and the intensity to 0.5. Then we'll duplicate the effect and set the radius to 1000. Very soft effect. We can also go to time and add posterized time. Set the frame rate to 12. This will create a stop motion effect on our grid. Another effect we gotta use is optics compensation. Just check lens distortion and increase the FOV to about 90-ish. This will warp the tunnel around the edges of your composition, looking really cool. But of course, please do yourself a favor and add the noise effect. Just set it to 12% and uncheck use color noise. Lastly, take a look at the VR digital glitch effect. We just want this effect to be subtle. To do this, open distortion and lower the color distortion, set the geometry X to zero, and the distortion complexity to a lower number or just zero. And feel free to interchange these effects as well, but these are my favorite for tunnel graphics. Okay, let's move on to the next technique and we're gonna create this normal shape tunnel in which you can be very creative with and add in any designs that you want. So just like our rectangle in the first technique, I have a repeated circle already animated. To customize and expand on the scene, it's so easy. For example, we can duplicate the circle, go into the transform of that shape and scale it down. Now go into the stroke and hit the plus icon to add dashes. We'll increase the dash value and I'm happy with that. Then we can hit keyboard shortcut R for rotation and alt click the stopwatch. We'll type time asterisk negative donuts. I mean 20, I don't have a donut. So let's just add in those lines like we did in our first technique just to show how simple it is to stack graphics for your tunnel. But perhaps the most important thing to know about tunnels is creating a floor. To do this, create a straight line from the center with the pen tool. Make sure it stretches to outside of your composition. Then we can set the stroke to a very large number and set the stroke color to the same color as our background. Then simply go to taper and set the start length to 100%. If you're missing taper, well, then you're long overdue for an update. Now we have our tunnel animation. It's okay, but when we add in those effects we created, it looks really cool. All right, the last thing I'll leave you with in this video is a text tunnel. So first we need to create a circular text. So type out your title and follow up with the ellipse tool. From the center, create a circle mask. And when you're ready, go into the path options and set the path to mask one and reverse the path. Then add the expression time, asterisk 100 to the first margin. Lastly, go to retype your text 
add some spaces and copy and paste your title a few times until the circle is complete. And when you're done, you should have this animated circle of text. So to create the tunnel, we cannot use the repeater like we've been using since we're not using shape layers. However, we can go to time and use the echo effect. But before we do anything with the echo effect, we must animate the scale of our text layer from 0% to a number that throws the title outside of the composition like this. Then make the first keyframe easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard, go to the graph editor and smooth the point all the way over to the right. Now we can use the echo effect. So slightly adjust the echo time to push back the title and set the number of echoes to 20 or more. From here, you can duplicate the title, offset the duplicate in time, and change the direction of the animation by adding a negative symbol to the expression. So now with our floor and a few of the effects added, we have a text tunnel. Be sure to get your hands on our free template pack for After Effects and always be creative.